What's good YouTube, it's Adam from Amy's Mole. Welcome to a brand new video. Today we're gonna go ahead and remake From Scratch Carnival by Kanye West and Ty Dolla Sign featuring Rich the Kid. Per minute, and the track is produced by Kanye West, The Lab Cook, Oli Volta, and Digital Nas. Let's go ahead and start off with the bass and get things started. I'm gonna go ahead and bring in Logic's ES2 synthesizer. We go over to a preset. We can go to synth bass, and we'll go down to. It's coming off of my screen here, but the preset is called Real Fat. We gotta do some sound design in a bit, but first, let's get that pattern down. We'll duplicate that over. So that does not sound anything like the one of the tracks. So let's get to some sound design. The first thing we're gonna do is pull up the amount of voices here from four to just the higher number. We're gonna go with 14. So we're gonna get rid of that swell and just put this to a unity gain here or unity signal. All right, so that's already better. Next, let's go ahead and just make this a pure signal as well. Take out the deviations here on the oscillators. I'm gonna pull up the resonance, pull up some FM as well. Makes it a little bit more gritty. Let's pull down the distortion, pull up some sine level. We're gonna pull up the cutoff. And then we're gonna really make it a lot brighter with this one here. darker all right so that is our bass next let's bring the vocal chant i'm gonna head on over to my vultures one deconstructed kit and i uh, have the vocal loop in there let's go to the track carnival uh here it is right over here and i uh, will just take that chant loop and let's just drag that in and because we are on a double time here, 148, I'm just gonna go ahead and just duplicate this over. Next, let's go ahead and just bring in some reverb on this vocal chant. All right, so that goes on for a little bit. Let's get to the next section. So I'm not gonna pull in this bass. That's the one shot that we just remade over here. I'm gonna take my bass sub. Let's take our clap, let's take the hi-hat, let's take the kick, let's take an open hat, and uh, let's take the snares. Let's go ahead and bring that in. We'll go to Drum Machine Designer, and maybe we can start off with the bass sub, or the 808, if you will. Of course, we want to open up our sampler and make sure we are not overlapping our notes. So we'll set that over to mono. Next, let's go over to our clap. Go to our new pattern region. We'll change our steps to 32 and we'll just add in a clap right at the end. All right, next, let's bring in our hi-hat. It's just a straight two-step. Change that over to eights. Let's bring in our kick pattern. It's basically following the pattern of our 808. All right, now let's make that kick a little bit more punchier. So I'm gonna open up Logic's quick sampler and we're just gonna pull up the volume a bit. And then we're gonna go to Logic's fat effects. And we're just gonna put a clipper on it and it's gonna bring that kick out a little bit more. Put a hard clipper on. Let's leave the compressor on, makes it punchier. Next, let's bring in the open hat. So this is a different open hat than the other ones. So we're just gonna leave it on the one and then let it play throughout the entire pattern. Next, 
next, let's bring in our first snare. So we're gonna go change this over to 64 steps. On our snare two, we're gonna change this over to 32 steps. It's just gonna be this little hit that happens at the end. So next, let's bring that super distorted 808. It's essentially the same 808 as this one. We're gonna duplicate this track, or let's just bring it in once again. For some reason, Drum Machine Designer does not let you duplicate a track that's already created. So let's bring this up over here. Let's draw in that pattern. Except the notes are overlapping, so let's change the polyphony to mono. Change it over to classic so that it's not playing the entire note. It just listens to how long the actual MIDI is. Let's stretch that out a bit. All right, now let's add in that distortion. I'm gonna go over to Logic's Effects. I'm gonna to go to Distortion, and we're gonna to go to Clip Distortion. And I'm gonna go over to a preset called, uh, the preset I want is Clipping Overtones. No, I think it's Overdrive. All right, so that's not ringing the way I like it. So I'm gonna open up Logic's Quick Sampler once again, and I'm just gonna pull up the release. All right, so I think that's good. Next, let's bring in that lead synth. We'll create a new software instrument track, and we'll go over to Logic's ES2 synthesizer. Once again, we're gonna work off of a preset. We're gonna go over to synth leads, and we're gonna go over to Euro hook. We'll get to some sound design in a moment. Let's just draw in that pattern. these notes I want them to glide into each other so I'm just going to extend them to be a little bit longer than the end value now they're not gliding yet so let's get to that sound design and get the sound proper first thing we're gonna do we're gonna change our mode over to legato and let's pull up the glide so the notes actually glide into each other Let's pull up a little bit of drive, a little bit of FM, and we'll just decrease the resonance a bit. Let's go ahead and just push up the attack value a little bit here. And last but not least, I'm gonna add in a little bit of chorus. All right, so now let's add in a little bit of sauce to that sound. Go ahead and bounce this region in place. And right here, where the note breaks from this point to the next note, we're gonna create a chop or a cut in our audio region. Then we're gonna go over to our inspector tab and we're gonna add in a crossfade or fade out at the end, except it's not a fade out, it's gonna be a tape stop effect or a slow down effect. So we're gonna change our fade mode to slow down and we're gonna type in a value of 400. So let's go ahead and just listen how that sounds on its own. Problem is we get a little click over here. So on the fade in portion, we're gonna go to five. It'll get rid of that click, but it won't be a noticeable fade. Now all we gotta do is bounce this in place once again. And we're gonna push that down one full octave. So on our keyboard, we are gonna go ahead and select that region. We're gonna go shift option, arrow down key. And all we have to do is just group these together and add in a little bit of reverb. Let's just bring in Logic's Chroma Verb. And then we 
go into the next section of the track, we basically just duplicate all of this over, except we're going to take out the sub bass. We're going to leave the chant in place and we're going to duplicate this bass track, copy down the pattern to over here. And then what we're going to do is apply in a filter just to make it a little bit darker sounding. logic users out there i'm gonna go and save this entire session for you place it as a downloadable link below this video if you don't use logic i got your back as well i'm gonna go ahead and export all the me stamps audio stamps and of course include the drum kit that you heard in this remake you can find that playback down below the like button as well i'll also link the vultures one drum kit down below if you're doing questions on this or just want to chat let's go and talk in the comment section below if you have any suggestions for future videos let me know down in the comments thanks for watching we'll catch you on the next one later Peace.